Hi friends, here we're uh, taking a look at a blood pressure monitor. And what I'm going to do, my intention is to um, kind of go over theory of operation of a blood pressure monitor. We're going to do a teardown and uh, maybe explore the circuitry a little bit and what's what's inside. Got it going. Apparently you're not supposed to talk while you're taking a measurement here. But that's okay. Okay, guys. So don't worry about me. Um, uh, Everything is fine. I don't think this is actually a real result. Um, I compare this against another unit that I have, that I, that I have had for quite a while, that I, I know to be pretty accurate. And this this one is uh, reading pretty high. Um, but that's okay. Again, um, this thing will have, you know, sort of the components that we need. Um, I didn't invest a, a lot in this thing. I, um, I bought it specifically to tear down and have a look inside. Um, maybe explore a little bit um, uh, uh, of the type of electronics that are in one of these things and maybe do a little bit of experimentation with the components, uh, take a look at the signals, etc. I should also, um, I should mention that it comes with this cuff, of course, that you wrap around your upper arm. Um, so it uh, inflates can see that this must be the, the pump, the mini uh, air pump. That's actually rated, let's see, four and a half volts. Okay, that's the rating of that guy. what's going on here so that's the air intake I suppose oh I see I'm actually assuming this is that this here is a, a pressure sensor. Uh, this is actually the port where the uh, the cuff goes. Sorry, this is actually the port where the the cuff goes. That's this plugs in there essentially. see actually oh unless this actually is not a valve it's just actually this this i i, I believe is just a, a manifold where the air gets distributed just for convenience here i suspect and this is actually the solenoid valve the air valve let's see
So definitely this is the, the solenoid valve. So this is just some type of uh, air manifold. So the air just probably comes in through this main line here and out. Uh, this might be, the openings might be sort of calibrated. Um, possibly. Okay, so I'm going to uh, actually start this up while the uh, blood pressure monitor is open. Oh, it would help if I had batteries in it. Okay. So this pump, pumping air through. Okay, I feel my cuff getting full of air, being pressurized. Okay, let's see. I'm just feeling on the solenoid valve here. And actually I can feel that air coming out. So that's in fact what this solenoid valve is for, is that when the cuff is full and it's time, um, this valve opens up and allows the uh, pressurized air from the cuff to be released um, uh, out through here, through the outlet basically of this valve. You can see that out output. So I suspect what happens is valve turns on and kind of opens up a path to the, um, the atmosphere, essentially, uh, allowing the air that's in the cuff to be uh, bled out. Okay, and of course, again, um, this is where the, um, um, the actual pressure sensor is. So this tube uh, is measuring the pressure you know, from this point. Um, and uh, this pressure sensor is uh, monitoring the, uh, the air pressure levels. Um, presumably, uh, as, as the cuff is inflated as well as um, uh, deflated. All right, folks, in order to gain a little bit more um, insight into uh, how the automatic blood pressure monitor works, um, I actually bought a um, uh, this little board here with a built-in pressure sensor that uh, essentially looks identical to the one that we saw um, in the uh, blood pressure monitor itself. Um, and this is sort of paired with uh, another little IC here, which is a... Uh, um, an analog to digital converter. Uh, it has sort of a proprietary uh, like serial interface, uh, pretty simple. Uh, so essentially the, uh, the blood pressure um, monitor itself, the device, the sensor itself here, I'll put some tens of uh, millivolts um, and needs to be um, amplified. Um, and this, this A to D uh, device here, um, has 128 gain and it converts that into a serial uh, digital signal. So 25 pulses that are fed in and uh, 24 uh, bits of data out. Uh, now I did this um, and along with, with this, this setup here, what I did was I took the, the, uh, the insides of the uh, blood pressure monitor, the main components anyway, I took the, uh, the, the pump, um, the tubing and the solenoid valve here. Um, and what I've done is instead of, you know, plugging this, this line into, um, the blood pressure monitors, uh, uh, pressure sensor, I'm going to plug it into this one that I got here. Um, and this in turn is actually connected to, um, an ESP32 board that I, that I have. 
And uh, what we're going to do is just uh, get the serial output as um, as the, uh, the pump is going and inflates the cuff. So you know I've got this little rig here where I've you know I'm just applying power uh, just manually here. I'm just going to touch these. You might be able to hear that that buzzing. Um, so that inflates the cuff, and then sort of when I uh, depower it, what happens is um, this solenoid valve uh, just releases the air uh, from the cuff. Uh, in fact, you actually have to, uh, it's actually a normally open valve. Uh, you actually have to apply, you have to actually energize this thing to uh, keep it closed so that, that, so that the cuff uh, pressurizes. And once you remove power, then it uh, it releases. So the idea is I'm going to hook this all up, uh, inflate the cuff, um, and we're going to see what kind of signals uh, you know, come out of this thing. What, what, what we would actually expect to see um, as we're monitoring the pressure um, uh, when we're doing a blood pressure measurement. All right, folks, what we have here is uh, the streaming output uh, from the ESP32 board um, that's collecting uh, data from that pressure sensor that I showed you. And at some point here, uh, I start um, pressurizing the cuff. You can see the pressure is increasing, increasing. Now, unfortunately, this sensor, or actually the A to D converter, um, kind of maxes out. Um, uh, it reaches a threshold here. So this this is actually is not appropriate for, for the task. Um, so the range isn't there. But anyway, uh, so now we release the pressure and uh, the cuff is deflating. And you what you can see here are the pulses. So I'm actually holding my finger um, over the, uh, the release valve uh, to slow that air out so that we could kind of see this um, uh, in more detail. So you can see these oscillations, these pulses. And so the way these blood pressure monitors um, work is, is using these oscillations, the pulsations that, that occur um, during the measurements, right? So the cuff, you know, is placed on your arm, uh, connected to the pump, which, which starts inflating it. And we measure the pressure with a sensor and the cuff is inflated uh, with enough pressure uh, that's sort of greater than your uh, systolic uh, blood pressure value. Okay. And at that point, um, you shouldn't actually see those pulsations, those oscillations, you won't see them. And then uh, once the pressure starts being released from that cuff, uh, as the pressure goes down at some point um, uh, where we sort of hit that systolic blood pressure, that's your, your high blood pressure value, um, the oscillations or the pulses will start to appear. Okay. Um, and that, uh, and those pulsations um, are due to your heart contracting. Okay. And, and of course that's, uh, a way of actually measuring your heartbeat as well. So as the blood pressure monitor um, measures those pulses, uh, those actually correspond to your heartbeat and it'll give you the, your heart rate as well. Okay, and um, and again, I guess the, uh, the monitor will continue to um, measure the pressure and monitor those uh, pulsations that the sensor is actually able to uh, detect. Um, and uh, that's an interesting thing. So even though the cuff is pressurized, those those pulsations uh, actually, you know, from your heart pumping through your artery, uh, uh, are large enough to affect the volume of your arm and actually uh, press up, up against the cuff and uh, cause those pressure pulses um, uh, that reach the uh, the pressure sensor, and that's what you're seeing with those with those oscillations. Okay, and again, as the the pressure decreases in the cuff, um, you'll you know uh, eventually um, 
get down uh, to a point where uh, the pulses will not be me uh, will not be measurable again. Okay, and so you know through whatever uh, algorithm magic um, applied in the uh, using that processor that's in the blood pressure monitor, it'll calculate your systolic and diastolic uh, blood pressure and report your uh, heart rate and all of that. All right, folks, that's all I really wanted to share uh, for today. I hope you found this interesting. Until next time, keep tinkering.